somebody online? Uh, yes, Mr. Cash. I, I, I was about to ask, may I add something that I just saw? Vivek here. Yes, Vivek. I just uh, made a very interesting observation today, which uh, I would like to ask for your Vivek, advice. Can you explain to our people where you are from? Singapore. Singapore, okay. Carry on. Okay. I made a, a very interesting observation today, and I would like to ask for your advice on this, because I believe this will clear up a lot of things for a lot of people who have made their own stacker units. Yes. Okay. Oh, I just, uh, okay, I'll just uh, quickly share the screen. When I first constructed uh, wait, my stack... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Rick has to allow you to share the screen. Oh, okay. I think you should be able to share screen there. Hey. There you go. One moment. Uh, one moment. Share screen. Move share. Okay. Okay, good. When I, when I first uh, made my stack unit, this was back in November. What I did was I added a little bit of an extension cord to the wires that are running from the plug from the socket as well as uh, the wires running from the power strip behind the Magrav's unit because it was a little bit difficult to strip the insulation around the three wires. So what I noticed today, because I wanted to see how far the nano coating has propagated through these wires, I removed these wires and I noticed that the nano coating has actually propagated in a very interesting way, but only through the extension wires. So, for example, on the right hand side, we see over here, this was the part that was connected to the stacker, it is nano coated. But over here, where the extension was twisted onto the main wire coming from the plug, this was not nano coated. So, what I did next was I stripped back the wire. Which is, uh, which is the extension wire to see how much of it was nano-coated. So the majority of it over here was seen to be nano-coated, but at the part just before where I had twisted it on to the other wire, that was where the nano-coating stopped. This was for the live wire I noticed. So next thing I did was I stripped back the neutral wire, which you see on top. And where the green arrow is pointing, there's a very clear demarcation where the nano coating stopped. So what I've understood from this is that, yes, the nano coating propagates. But something I did over here is preventing the nano coating from going through the rest of the system. So I suspected the same thing happened on the load side as well. So I took a look. Okay, this is a close-up view of the two wires. You can see where the nano coating has stopped. It's very, very clear. So I look at the load side. This is where I twisted the wires on. There was no nano coating over there. So I stripped the wires out. And the same thing had happened. For the live wire, the nano coating had progressed almost all, uh, it had progressed all the way up to where I had twisted the wire on. But for the neutral wire, where it came off of the capacitor and went to the neutral wire on the power strip, the nano coating had only progressed maybe about a quarter of the way through the wire. And it stops where the green arrow is over here. So, Mr. Cash, why is it happening like that? In time, the whole lot will be nano coated. In time, all your wires will be nano coated. The only pro the only thing is, as you s we explained in the battery and plasma today, the nano coating needs confinement to be attached to, and the cover creates that. And if you leave it long enough, if you just put a plastic cover over where the interfaces between your wires, where it's not nano coated, come uh -huh. back in a few weeks, it will be nano coated. You mean this one? Yes, just cover okay. it with a piece of plastic and then come back and let us know. Because uh, this one was initially covered with uh, electrical insulation tape. No. And it was, cover, it was left Cover it enough. with a plastic. Cover it with, even these junctions in the long run will become nano coated. 
Right. Okay. These auctions in the long run become nano coated. Uh, okay. We've seen this before. But uh, as we said, now you have proven that's what we said that the wires in time in the whole house will be nano coated. And then you'll find out you don't even need to connect to the power supply. Because what does this nano coating you just showed us does? Nano coating means absorbing all the energy. So when I look at your black uh, on the brown side in the middle, it's not fully done yet. It looks not really fully black. It takes time to go fully, fully black. And it depends how much power you put on the load side. And this will ch change the situation that now the nano coating will absorb all the energy as they go across the room and the house, as they go through the pipe. And then the energy flips to a point that you can and you will reach a point of uh, supply in the house without any power supply. We've seen this with two houses now. The more you load on the on the load side of your unit, the more, the faster you create this condition. This is the process which I said, when a large number of people use these units, you have shown it clearly, the nano coating will go to the power station sound, that's what I said, close down the nuclear power stations. Because this is an atomic structure plasma, and the only place that will interfere with is a plasma in the nano layers in the in the nuclear power stations. But it doesn't make any difference. It does not. It, the, the twisting changes a little because you change the environment, but at the end, the nano coating will carry on through. Okay. Right now, I've uh, actually removed these little extension wires, and I've connected the wires directly from the plug yeah. to the stacker, and from the power strip to the stacker as well. There's now a direct yeah. connection. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kesh. You're welcome, but this is what we said, because a lot of people, I've had a question risen by a nuclear physicist, says, you know, Mr. Kesh, this is what you're telling us, it, does, it doesn't make sense, because you know, all we use the nuclear reactors is for your, is creating a steam, and going through the power system, and that's all it does. I said, one thing you don't understand, is that this system will go and nanocode the whole power station, in time. With the coal yeah. we stop, with nuclear we cannot stop, because then it goes into the cladding, and go, the whole structure will be nanocoded. Is a huge flow of energy, which will change everything in its own way. I would just like to say for those who have been posting videos that uh, nano coating cannot occur, the evidence is right here. It's very, very clear for all of us to see. So please go and recheck your the systems that you've built. Make sure you follow the instructions. And when you connect it up, give it time, give it sufficient load, like what Mr. Cash says. And over time, we will see that nano coating propagate. 